from the makers of Fusion Passenger and Ruby Enterprise Edition. It's Fusion Passenger for Nginx. Running Fusion Passenger for Nginx involves four simple steps. Installing a gem, running the Nginx installer, configuration, and then launch. First run sudo gem install passenger. This installs the necessary Ruby code and C code that will later be compiled into your Nginx installation. Next, run the Nginx installation command. In addition to passenger install Apache 2 module, there is now a passenger install Nginx module command. This is the one you'll want. Be sure to run it with sudo. You'll see a standard installation prompt, including one extra step, download a compile and install Nginx as part of this process. Hit the number one in order to do that, or hit two if you're an advanced user and want to handle it on your own. This will actually download Nginx and by default install it into opt Nginx. In real time, this will take about one minute. It automatically discovered my existing installation of Ruby Enterprise Edition and automatically inserted the necessary configuration into the new Nginx configuration files. It also will show me a few lines that I can copy in order to create a new server running a Rails or a Rack application. Next, I'll open that configuration file with sudo mate opt nginx conf nginx.conf. As promised, it already includes passenger root and passenger Ruby based on my existing installation of the passenger gem and my Ruby executable. I can now paste in the server block that it gave me during the installation process. There are other options that you could list here. See the documentation for more details. In this case, I've already set up a local alias in my DNS to peepcode.local by editing my ets slash hosts. I'll use that for the server name. I'll point the root all the way to the public directory of my Rails application. And because I'm running in development, I'll specify the Rails end of development. Saving this will prompt me for my root password if you're using TextMate. Finally, start the Nginx executable, which is located at opt nginx sbin nginx. Open a web browser and visit the site that you just configured. It'll take a few seconds to launch, and then you'll see your site running under nginx.